All right, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial here on how to clean up uh, a grouse or a uh, any sort of bush chicken, really, this will work for. Um, the whole point of this method I'm gonna show is to maximize the amount of meat that you get out of it and minimize any sort of waste. Um, so I have a rough grouse here that I've just taken. Um, as with every time I harvest one, I go for the head. Luckily, this was just a clean head shot. Then you end up with the full, uh, first of all, an ethical kill and then uh, a, a whole body without uh, any broken wings, broken legs. It's kind of an ideal si situation. So so I'm gonna start plucking it here. The best way that, that, that was taught to me is to go against, away from up, upwards from the bird. So away from you, if you hold the bird this way and you pluck short and quick and you'll see <clears throat> starts coming out. If you do it too fa too fa hard, actually, really, the speed's not so much, but if you do it too hard, you'll end up tearing the skin, which is kind of gonna happen anyway, but the less so, the better. Holds all the juices in and the skin's good to eat. Try to make sure that's in there. Okay, so I've got the back starting to get a little clean looking. Now, depending what feathers you're trying to clean off depends on your approach for plucking them. So once I'm done the relatively easy back feathers, I'll go and show the wings. These are some of the hardest part, but I think that they're worth doing because the meat inside them is not much, but it's really good. And I look forward to it as soon as the roast is done. So <clears throat> with these primary feathers, you have to pull them straight out and, and quite hard. So you just do single outward plucks. I've done this quite a few times, probably a few hundred, so it might look a little bit easier than it is. <clears throat> the smaller, these are probably the hardest feathers on this way. The hardest, hardest feathers on the whole chicken, kind of on the top of the wing there. Um, they, they kind of require that same upward stroke away from the growth that I was trying to explain earlier. So I will slowly pick those away. Uh, these these ones on the end can be a bit of a pain sometimes, especially this is a bit of a young bird So you'll see like a, a bit of a molting um, Feather in there. They, they're a little extra tough to pluck Okay. looks messy while you're doing it but surprisingly cleans up quite quick I, I do the same method on ducks and it's probably about three times the work per pound so I'll usually once it's usually colder than it is right now and I usually take this last easy part inside do it by the wood stove but you can see here that's pretty well a clean looking wing and didn't take me that long so I'll repeat the process of that on the other one so with the back, pretty clean. Um, a couple of molting feathers here to take out. And the same with the breast. The breast works just like the back where you wanna go up away from growth. And the trick, this is tends to wanna rip on you. The, the trick is short, quick, upstream plucks. And you'll see it come flying out. So far, I haven't torn any, but it also ha ha uh, helps that I just harvested this bird because uh, when they're still slightly warm, I would say not right away, but within a few hours, it's kind of the easiest. They're still slightly warm. It's usually the best time to do this. So you see this one's got quite a few painful, tricky molting feathers. If you get an adult grouse, you usually don't have to deal with these buggers, but get those out of there. This crop is probably one of the more full crops I've ever seen. It's right bursting there, full of some sort of food. This one must have been out gathering food. Okay. So, with the exception of picking off these molting things that I can do kind of on the couch later, 
we have mostly a cleaned up plucked breast and a single wing. For the legs, I hold them by the feet, assuming you still have feet on it. And then again, same sort of away from the growth direction up, up the bird. They're quite easy usually, there's not a, a lot of tough feather on the leg. Okay, tail feathers, they're also quite easy, but similar to the uh, flight feathers, you have to pull them straight. There's the hunting dog. Wanting some more. All right. So, I believe, getting there. All right. So the neck too, I mean, I, I like eating the neck, so I also, as long as you don't shoot it, um, we'll take that. So pluck all this away. So you get, this is nice and clean, this one, other than the molting feathers. So I'll take it pretty far. Okay. That's just about it. So now I have one, one wing left to go. So I'll just do the same again. Primary feathers, straight, kind of strong. I hold the wing with my hand just to make sure I don't do any meat damage. That gives you the chance to really haul on it and get these out of there. Do it pretty quick usually. Okay. Then the small ones. So, still looks a little bit messy, but the last little bits you can kind of, you don't have to worry about the pieces flying around your house, so you can throw out in the bush and the cold, you can just get it this far, bring it home. This is looking just about ready. So, one of the last steps that I do, once you know you've got a nearly cleaned up bird that just needs some fine tuning at home, I will take the knife Okay, the last step, the head comes off, high up right under the neck, away legs below the kneecap give it a little crack in the opposite direction they cut right off this is exactly how you do chickens and for me I used to cut off the tips of the wings but I find they pretty well they don't hurt you you can just throw them out with the bones or make even better make stock out of it all right So with the exception of a little nitpicking from all these juvenile feathers, you have a nearly ready for the oven roaster turkey, chicken. Now, bonus. See what's going on in this crop out of interest. Lots and lots of stuff. Holy. I have a hard time even telling exactly what's here. Mushrooms, got mushroom cap. Um, maple keys. A whole lot of buds of a shrub that I can't quite tell what it is. But, 
Oh, and look at that, a big slug. I've heard about the meat in these, I haven't actually seen it yet. There you go, happy hunting.